my god. I guess those are the other players. Squid Game Episode 3. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be a running theme or not, but. Hello and welcome to the Rhubarb Room and thank you for joining me for Squid Game, the game of the squid, episode 3. Um, so yeah, last time we had a terrible episode just because um, it was great. What? Um, we basically got to learn everybody's kind of sort of background and we've got a good six or seven characters now that we sort of care about. And um, yeah, that, that makes it terrible because now every single game it's just going to be, oh no, is he going to die? Is he going to die? Is she going to die? I don't know. It's going to be horrible, but um, we'll keep plowing on, we'll keep uh, chipping along. Interestingly, at the end of last episode, we had the sort of policeman that was looking for his brother. So I think his brother was the second guy to die in the actual first game. So the friend of the guy that died first, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I think he's, the, that, that cop is that guy's brother. So he was following the van that was taking everybody to the actual Squid Game location. And at some point, it seems like they're gonna have to take a boat or at least a flight. So that gas has to be pretty strong to knock him out for so long, you would think anyway. The girl on there, which I think she is North Korean because in the last episode they mentioned her coming um, from the border, I think. Um, so yeah, the only border would be North Korea, really. She actually managed to hold her breath, which was quite surprising. So hopefully we'll get a little insight into the actual journey. And then maybe at some point in this episode, we'll actually start um, the second game. I'm a bit nervous for this. I am a little bit nervous because, um, you know, I actually quite like a lot of these characters. I do really like them. And God forbid, please let nothing happen to the old man. I don't know if I, my heart would be able to take it. But in three, two, one. Let's react. That sort of like, um, dun in the music there. It almost sounded like when you end the turn in games of like, like Total War games. Oh yeah, at some point during this process, they basically just strip everyone and put them in tracksuits, don't they? I wonder how well they can actually see in those masks. I'm gonna guess that's not gonna identify him then. He's probably like, what the fuck? Oh god, just, no you have to be, oh he's got a knife on him. And take his clothes, Hitman style. I don't know, that seems pretty suspicious if everybody else is still out there. Do you think they, do you think they have a staff room or something like that? They just all go to have a cup of coffee, tea. Like, good work today guys. Oh that's the guy that was in the suit then, presumably. Okay. Do not speak unless spoken to. Got it. Oh, yeah, she's still awake, so... Oh, what's she put in there? Is it like a, a tracker? But where'd she get that from? Oh, she took his knife. Okay, nice. Please don't use it on any of the actual players. <laughs> the old man's gonna be like... Okay, we're back. <laughs> I, have a, I have a bad theory about this. I feel like that this game, near the end, will come down to like, you know, like two people and it'll either be our main character, him, or the guy next to him. These three and the old man, that it comes down to at least. Well, our main character and one of the other more side characters. <laughs> yes, we can definitely let you join. So he's managed to get some lackeys with him. I'm gonna guess that's not the team for you. Why don't you like form a duo? Well, she's going up the air then. Don't know how she's going to reach it. So, that's quite a re-entrance rate. Oh, come on, just leave him alone. <laughs> Doctor Doom, leave him alone. Hmm, that looks alright, actually. Yeah, I literally have no idea what the next game will be, though. 
Come on, you've got to keep your spirits up, especially for this game. Yeah, they're never, like, very complicated. That room again is so odd. I just keep expecting the stairways to move, like in Harry Potter. What's happening? Okay, that was a bit dodge. Wow, that is... That is basic. Okay, so there's some pretty strict rules. And they're monitored as well. Get the square over here. Oh, there's the square. <laughs> Are they actually going to take her there, though? Now don't look, don't actually turn your head though towards the camera. Did she smuggle something? The hell is that? Really? <laughs> Went through all that just to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna go up through the, the toilet then. But aren't they gonna realize that, you know, two of them went in? <laughs> well, at least it seems like a sturdy air vent. Oh my god. I feel like she doesn't have to go that way over the top though. It might seem suspicious. Just the cooks. Oh my god. Oh no. Keep staring. <laughs> you don't know who he is, though. I hope that's not just going to fall down. It doesn't seem very screwed in. He doesn't sound too too good. Oh, they were just melting something? They weren't cooking? Okay. Oh, I wonder if it's related to the next game. You are correct, sir! What if the, that was the one that was looking at him? The, the guy, uh, like the one that was looking at him before, is that the guy that was coughing? In the middle of the night. Number 28. Is he lactose intolerant? <laughs> is that? I wonder if that's telling in the next game, maybe. So you know, it, you, like you have a second to sort of process it. But why, who would, who or, and why? Again, it keeps going to his like front pocket with the like broken button. What a nice theme as last time. Oh, this is gonna go so badly. He is going full on calculations right now. <laughs> And the man was under an umbrella. Oh, so this makes the very, very start of episode one make sense, kind of, when kids are in a playground. I don't know, I guess, well, that guy put the stamp of the shapes in every, like, pancake-y thing. Like, sugary tree. So, I mean, there's four of them and four shapes. He really doesn't like that sort of university kind of medal that he's got on him. Oh, come on, what were you gonna say? Were you... So does he know kind of what the game is? But is it even a game really? Because that man was just selling snacks in the flashback, right? It's gonna have one of those like sugar snacks in, with the actual symbol that they chose. And most likely, I think. Oh, that's the guy that got the note. 
honeycomb. Okay. A shape he must extract. <laughs> so, he's got to try and crack that out. Oh my god. So, if you... If you don't... Ex if... Oh, if you, like, break it slightly, you're dead then? Okay, yeah, I guess scratching it would be better than just trying to stick the thing in and try to crack it along the seam. Oh, please don't. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no, I feel like you're going about this all wrong. I mean, the star is hard, and then the umbrella. The star and the umbrella is definitely the hardest. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, I've just been watched like that. Doctor Doom, again, you're just up man oh fuck. yeah fucking hell i don't think my nervous hold together i would crack oh f i would do exactly what she is dad i'd probably just crack it Okay, smart, but is that considered cheating? The thing is, can you cheat in these games? Would that be all right? <sighs> yeah, triangle, definitely the easiest shape, but I'd still probably find a way to f*** it up. I don't know if that's gonna be a good word. Uh, that sounds pretty bad. But he didn't really catch on though. I thought they would be like scanned into like a system of who they are. Okay, so he's definitely got people on the inside. He's done well to get that the very tip of the umbrella out. Yeah, if he moistens the edges, it should just fall away. Yeah, I keep doing that, but maybe not with like the actual umbrella shape, just the sides. Oh, just, oh yeah, just melt the actual little lines in it. Aren't they going to see it's like slightly burn on the edges though? The thing is in that situation you probably get your tongue gets properly dry as well, doesn't it? I'm going to guess. <laughs> Everybody's just licking it. <laughs> they haven't got long at all. Better lick faster. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, okay, come on, please hurry up. You really don't have long. Are you at the point where you can just pop it out? Oh. oh, you absolute amazing person. Oh no, you was space you'd basically done it. Just Doctor Doom going himself. Oh my god. Who is Square Man? Yeah, he is young. Is he gonna get in trouble for taking it off now? Oh my god. I mean the detective's still in there somewhere, isn't he? Because he has to he's on duty to pick up all the dead bodies. Oh yeah, and of course, yeah, he was the was the square. Okay, let me just stop that. Okay then, so that was Squid Game Episode 3, and uh, yeah, we resumed our kind of um, weekly episode of let's see how many people we can kill. We had a break from it last week, uh, but yeah, this week it's fully fully back on on the killing table, and we, we lost quite a few. I don't know how many we lost on this game. I don't think as many as the very first game, but I mean, it's still, still quite a lot of people. It was interesting that uh, the woman that smuggled in the fags, uh, the cigarettes, up her cooch, <laughs> um, helped the um, the guy with the kind of snake tattoo, the the gangster guy, I'm going to call him, mob guy, um, by giving him the lighter, maybe to make him trust her and to basically get in on his group. But I don't know why she would want to after what he did the ver in their very first encounter. He didn't really seem like he wanted her at all, but. Um, well, only for one thing. But interestingly, it would have been interesting to know if that would have been considered cheating because they did pass. There was no kind of rules except for what was given at the start. Um, just take the shape out. 
and uh, our main character is pretty smart by licking it and um, yeah, basically thinning, melting the lines um, for the shapes. But yeah, if you got the umbrella or the star, fucking hell, that was that was hard. I even think the circle would have been pretty hard. The triangle definitely was the easiest. I think maybe by some miracle I could have passed a triangle, but um, yeah, obviously I went and chose the the umbrella shape at the very start of the game. Let me know what shape you had chosen before you knew what the game was, if you did choose one. Um, but I would have been completely fucked up. Like, I would not have come up to lick it. I, would have, I probably would have broken it as soon as I touched it, knowing my luck. Yeah, this was another really good episode. It's interesting as that one guy that seems to be, or has people on the inside, because he got a message. Um, that basically just said honeycomb. How much that was actually helpful, I don't know, because it didn't really turn the game, it just said honeycomb. So, yeah, I'm not sure really how that was help helpful to him, but it'll be interesting to see who he actually is and who are the people that are helping him on the inside. We also had basically right at the end, this is all right at the end, but yeah, so quite a lot happened actually, really. Um, but at the very start, the detective smuggled in, took the guy's costume and, um, yeah, he's just sort of smuggled his way in. The actual shapes, the uh, pink people, they have very small like living quarters. And I'm guessing they get paid quite a bit of money as well to do that, to do that job. And the square guy, the sort of like captain guy, he was really young and he was kind of like, seems like the square guy's in charge of everyone. So at least the detective doesn't get a speaking to because that guy is dead. But now I guess we're gonna have to get a new square guy because Dr. Doom killed him. Um, definitely do not show your face. Do not take off that mask. That is a lesson learned. Do not do it. Yeah, hopefully we will continue this trend and uh, our, our main characters will not end up dead. But I think that's gonna be all for me for this one. If you liked it, Maybe do consider leaving a like, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are new and you like this video, then uh, maybe do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified of uh, when new videos like this come out. But um, that's going to be all from me, so goodbye and ciao ciao.